This free shot boy is literally insane. This 70 million coins sold out damages IP on. And this cheap cloak buffs your damage by a lot. In this video, I'll be covering some new cheap and OP items that you should try. First, let's look at some new melee weapons and compare them with the old meta. Here, I'll be comparing the new Felthorn Reaper with the Livid Dagger and Shadow Fury. All of them have the same upgrades, enchants, the Withered Reforge, and 5 stars. The gear I used outside of dungeons was full crimson and a level 90 lion. With a Livid Dagger that can be obtained from floor 5 and costs around 7 million coins on the EH, I dealt 70 key damage. But there's a small problem. My stats were terribly optimized and I was using the bizarre reforge. So after switching to a better reforge and after optimizing my strength and crit damage using attunements, I was able to deal 199k damage to zombies normally and 538k damage with a sword throw backstab which in my opinion is quite decent. Now after switching to the felthorn reaper that requires a bone reaver crafted by using 5 spirit bones. 20 enchanted bone blocks and one spirit sword then you need to upgrade the bone reaver by using five fell roses crafted by using 16 fell pearls and three ancient roses and one fell skull obtained from floor six i also upgraded it to gain 10 extra strength and crit damage by using bigfoot lassos in total it should cost around 70 million coins excluding the other upgrades i was able to deal 265k damage normally and 365k damage with the ability. Now with a Shadow Fury that costs around 41 million coins and is also dropped from F5, I was able to deal 314k damage to regular zombies, meaning the Shadow Fury easily claps all of them outside of dungeons. Now inside of dungeons, wearing an ancient golden level dead, two pieces of Maxor, and a loving storm chestplate, yeah, don't ask why I'm using that setup. With the level dagger, I dealt around 5.6 million damage to most of the mobs and with a backstab I could deal around 11 million damage. Now with the Felthorn Reaper I dealt almost 7.6 million damage to regular mobs. Also the ability is really good for clearing. It's still not as good as hype though. Now with the Shadow Fury I dealt over 9.4 million damage making it the best weapon on the list inside and outside of dungeons. Now let's look at the pros and cons of each weapon. First you've got the Levit Dagger. It's really good for mid game and gives you 50 extra attack speed meaning you can optimize your stats better. Next we've got the Felthorn Reaper which was kinda disappointing but the ability works on ghosts and it has extra range making it kinda decent. Also it's not just cause of the weapon but burst makes master mode slightly easier. I tried soloing M1 with this but failed. Also when I was testing it on alpha I was able to deal more damage with Necron and Felthorn compared to Storm and High. Finally, we've got the Shadow Fury. It easily outclasses the Felthorn Reaper. And during the alpha test, the Felthorn Reaper was quite similar compared to the Giant Sword, meaning the Shadow Fury is the best cheap burst weapon at the moment. And the only other weapon significantly better than it is the Dark Claymore. That's way more expensive. So unless there's a secret use for the Felthorn Reaper, I just recommend sticking to the Shadow Fury or Levit Dagger and spending the remaining coins on better gear. Now let's look at some short bows. I decided to choose the recently dungeonizable dragon short bow, the recently buffed spirit short bow and the classic juju short bow. Now all of them add the following upgrades including power 6, hot potato books, 5 stars and the precise reforge. For the out of dungeons test, the armor I used was almost base tier ancient crimson. First I chose the dragon short bow. The dragon short bow is a free weapon obtained for completing the lone adventurer quest and it can be dungeonized at catacombs level 8. If you've already claimed it but can't find where you kept it, you can always buy it from Rusty for 100k coins. Now with the dragon shot bow outside of dungeons, I dealt 36.8k damage which is kinda low in my opinion. But it's free so what can you expect? Next we've got the spirit shot bow that is dropped from floor 4 and costs 4 million coins on the AH. With the base tier version, I dealt 62k damage outside 
outside of dungeons, but you can upgrade it by using thorn fragments. That gives 10 extra damage and strength and 0.05 extra firing rate. Now with the upgraded version, I dealt 65k damage outside of dungeons. So yeah, not a massive difference. And finally with the juju short bow that is unlocked at Enderman Slayer 5 and costs around 30 million coins on the age, I was able to deal 92k damage outside of dungeons meaning the juju short bow clowns on both of them. Now inside of dungeons with the dragon short bow, I dealt 260k damage, which was kinda garbage compared to the 2.2 million damage I dealt with my beast spirit short bow. Also after upgrading my spirit short bow by using thorn frags, I dealt 2.3 million damage. It was probably a mistake. And yeah, it was. I dealt over 3 million damage. Yeah, turns out I had recently received a blessing of power 5. So yeah, upgrading your spirit short bow isn't gonna give you a massive damage buff. And finally with the Juju short bow I dealt 3.2 million damage. Now there's zero competition here. All the weapons are completely balanced in their place. The dragon short bow dealt low damage compared to the others. But considering how low the requirements are and the fact that it's literally free, I could see it becoming a new early game archer meta. If you want to upgrade your setup but can't afford a Juju, you can just use the spirit bow. But remember your firing rate is much lower. Also you need need to hit 100% bonus attack speed to maximize your DPS. And finally, if you've got a decent amount of coins and can grind up to E-Man Slayer 5, get a Juju, as it'll probably carry you until M3 if you can find a party that will accept you. There are also some new equipments. First, let's look at the Shadow Assassin Cloak. It costs around 3 million coins at the moment and is one of the new cloaks added to Skyblock that can be obtained by grinding floor 5 and it's one of the most OP cloaks for melee. We also have the Soul Weaver gloves that cost around 4.6 million coins and has a pretty neat ability. It can be used to stun enemies and yes, it works on mini bosses. And in general, the mobs said by it look kinda funny. So yeah, you should get these items if you wanna grind dungeons. Also, both of these items can be upgraded by using Wither Essence. And the Shadow Assassin Cloak can be upgraded by using Livid Fragments. Social I can